Hi guys and welcome to Hattiful Boyfriend. Yes, it's another dating sim. After I last played, I believe it was High School Dreams, Best Friends Forever, and it was very, very successful, people would always say to me, are you going to play another dating sim game because they seem to do really well on your channel, especially when I think High School Dreams has, what, 10,000 views, the first part at least? And I was like, no, no. You know, I sort of, I want to be taken seriously. I want, I want my channel to be taken seriously. And then came Hattiful Boyfriend. And you know what? What can be more serious than a human dating a pigeon? Because you know what? That shit is serious. That shit could probably get you imprisonment, okay? Like, for the purpose of this joke, I did look up the uh, legislation in Scotland just to see, you know, what the imprisonment is for bestiality out of curiosity. Cannot, for the life of me, find it. I found um, many similar things, but not bestiality. So it could possibly be a life imprisonment, or it could be imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months, or a fine not exceeding the statutory maximum, or both. And, um, well, the only reason I really looked that up was I used to work in a lawyer, so I'm just throwing that out there. It was curiosity, and um, this has nothing to do with the game itself, which is just a little bit of fun. We are dating a pigeon, as far as I know. Also, apologies that there seems to be no music playing. I loaded up the game, then I went to go get a drink of water, and I came back and the music stopped playing. So I assume that it only plays for like a limited amount of time, because it does not expect you to be waiting in the start screen for this long. And I did not expect to go on such a long tangent. But you know what? Fuck it. New game. St. Pidgeot Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeot Nations. Please enter your name. Ah, uh, what's her name? Hayoko? That's not her name. I can change her name. What do I want her name to be? Enter your first name. Do I want it do I want it to be me? Do I want it to be me? Do I want to date a pigeon? It's a tough choice. I I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I was going to say no, but then I was like, you know what? This is my only chance in life I'll ever get to date a pigeon. So Miss Cash... Fine, Cashnell? No, close enough. Close enough. Is Annalise Cashnell okay? Well, actually no, I would have rather more space, but it'll do. It'll do for now, game. Yes, it is okay. Hattiful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualisation module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Ooh. Display human portraits? Um, sure. I don't see why not. Are you excited, guys? St. Pidgeot Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say... This school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pidgeot Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota. Now apologies, I am going to butcher a lot of names here. And probably pronounce them differently each time. Ryota. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Annalise. Overslept. <gasps> He's cute. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. Can't relax without red meat inside. Wink, wink. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I may take you up in that offer on starvation limbs. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. As you can tell, I'm not a very good voice at uh, I'm not very good at voice acting. Also, it's like 6am, so you know. 
Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. To the atmosphere last year. Bear me a cut for all that lost fun. Hatful boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, for the pigeon. First term. Woo! I think we're in 2 3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Well, the teacher's here. Ka Kazuaki? Kazuaki? Kazuaki, I'm going to go with. Good morning, everybody. Err, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialise in math and physics. And also some other things. Ugh. Sorry about that. I was just opening my bottle of water and struggling. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, he's cute too. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously so... But he's a famous math professor. I'd heard the rumours, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. I keep changing the voice I'm sort of doing for them, which is essentially still my voice, but just slightly different. So I should really, uh... I should really practice my voice acting skills. Ah, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogani. Shirogani? Whatever, man, I just need to, like, commit. I just need to say it, and hopefully you guys won't question it. Sakuya. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least see your name, Shirogani? Oh. Shirogane La Belle Sakuya. Oh, he has intense eyes. It seems as fantail as Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up. But then transferring is never easy. Hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Uh-oh. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. Ah, my favourite part of the school time schedule. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. <laughs> huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. Morning Dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning Doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, do you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there were a lot to dance and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? 
He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Cash Nelanlis, sophomore. What about you? Y you're Nageki Fujishiro. Fuj da can't speak. <laughs> Fujishiro Nageki, freshman. You're cutie! Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. You wouldn't have got that with my uh, voice acting. Leave me alone! He's reading his book again. That sounded very bratty, actually. <laughs> okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. That's high school for ya. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Uh, what voice did I use for him again? It was a slight bit more, you know... Something. It was basically just my voice, but... It was basically just my voice, yeah. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, it's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazi Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You heard that whole thing, right? Or you're a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I try to see blah, blah, blah. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. The bobby pins in his hair. Not that I'm judging. This fancy old pigeon is Sakazi Yuya, an upperclassman. I never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie <laughs> knows of him. You're Annalise, right? How did you- I know every bird here. Besides, you're the only human. Single poppy in the field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. Never thought that stuck-up aristocrat- I'd never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. A genuine article. In the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Oh, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Yeah, Scottish people just shouldn't speak French. Apologies to any Scottish French people. Or Scottish people that can speak French. Basically, I shouldn't speak French. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, yeah, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir? Where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weird stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. I'm wondering who I'm going to romance. I'm very, very curious. Excuse me. That sounded more questioning than that said. Nobody's no bird. <laughs> Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains. The doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryuta. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it. 
We haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here! Ethyl... Trifilicial... Drugs? Yay! What do these even do? Care to find out? The, the, the doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm -hmm. the, no, thank you. Oh, he's. <laughs> I feel a little bad when I seen him in bird form. I was like, he's not going to be very attractive. <laughs> what is my life becoming when I'm looking at a bird and I'm going, that's not an attractive bird? <laughs> but he's an attractive man. This partridge is... I... I... This part... Is him, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person. He has a bad reputation among the student body. Every bird who knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Clearly, we must date the ninja doctor, guys. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Bryota Kawara from 23 was supposed to be here? Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. I've got some hell of a stammer on me, judging by the uh, dialogue. I'm like P -p 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 Professor Qu Quirrell from uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, I said that very weird. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Right, has already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining the club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendall, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school. <laughs> this is where you know this ain't me. And it's always funny watching the birds hop around. That part, possibly me. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cool! Cool! This is no pudding for a man! Cool! Okasan rejects it. It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around in a squished pudding. Hey! That's not very nice to the pudding! This is Okasan. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a faint tail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! I can't cool. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Cool! But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cool, cool! Spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Cool! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 7am now. My dad hasn't yet gone off to work, and I did say I'm recording, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just picturing him heading out to work, hearing me sitting in my room going, "Cool, cool." <laughs> He'll be thinking, "What is my daughter doing with her life?" <laughs> They'll roll the day. <laughs> They're crossed August, August. <laughs> Okasan, he'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. <laughs> cool! Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! <laughs> and he's gone. He's a good runner. What does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pidgeon Nations. Oh man, wonder how this year's going to go for us. Uh, I think we want to choose a class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. 
I don't know why I put emphasis on that word, but you know what, I'm Kazuaki. I do what I want. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school, okay? Just like I am free to emphasise certain words. Cool! Okasan, it's time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirigane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Well, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? Isn't that cronyism? Let's, let's not. Just coming to school is enough for me. I hear ya. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Join the... Uh, I guess student council? I want to romance a doctor. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun.